So I did a video about 15 minute neighborhoods and I said within these 15 minute neighborhoods, it didn't matter where you live, whether it was in the city or the country, they would make sure that there was a percentage of people of a different ethnicity. They had to. You can't have white only areas, right? Well, look, migrants could be encouraged to move to rural areas to boost the economies and population. It's it's going, it's basically like backing up what I said here. Now, they're going to paint this as uh, rural areas need more people in there, uh, buying, uh, working, all of the rest of it, right? But that's not the reason they're doing this. The reason they're doing this is to make sure that their diversity quotas are hit, that they end up putting people of a different religion, different ethnicity into the entire of Great Britain. They don't want them just in the cities. Nope. This purge that they're doing, this shift that they want, okay, is got to happen. You you have no say in this, by the way. Don't ever think you do. Because anybody in these rural communities that says, actually, no, we don't want them here, will just be blasted as racist, bigots. Cool, pick your name. But that's what they're going to get called, right? This is going to happen. And it says here, migrants should be given a special visa that obliges them to live in rural areas for five years to combat depopulation and replenish aging communities says government advisors they're actually purging you out right the government migration advisor committee mac has recommended ministers trial a rural visa under which migrants would be tempted to move to more rural or remote areas for at least five years through a relaxation of UK entry rules. They could be encouraged to come through low skills requirements and reductions in the UK entry fee with average 2,500 up front on top of the healthcare surcharge of 624 a year. The annual report published on Tuesday, the MAC said the proposal would fit in with the government's levelling up agenda. That's another Marxist trope. Anyway, the levelling up agenda to bring in workers to boost the economy of rural areas. Right, let me explain something to you as well, right? When I go to all these centres where they're, they're, they've got pickers and packers and stuff like that, they're all foreign. They're very few from the local area, okay? So it's not like what they're doing is they're paying these guys and girls peanuts. It's slave labour, all right? And these companies do very well out of it. And the locals are just like, I am not working for that. I can earn more on benefits. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we've agreed that is a bad thing, right? The fact that people can just stay on benefits, that is a bad thing. But the fact of the matter is, a man knows what his worth is. The guy said to me one day, he says, if you're old enough to fight and die for this country, you're old enough to have a man's wage. And I agree with that, okay? But what we've got here is they're going to bring people in that are not used to decent working conditions and will work for less. That's the fact. But what they actually want to make sure is there's none of you whitey areas. We hate that. We're going to ruin this area. Because what happens is when you move these people in, you move in their, their habits, their cultures, their attitudes. You want to ruin the countryside as well as the cities. We knew this was coming. There will not be a place in the UK away from this. You will all have it. This is coming. You need to be aware of it. Anyway, I hope you hope you like me giving you the early news. I mean, it's not good news, is it? But I hope you I hope you enjoy the content. At least you're getting hold of it. And uh, share this channel with as many people as you can. I will put out as much honest stuff that I mean this is this is in the paper, right? This is they're not hiding this anymore. This is their plan. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.